Judge, this is the case of cheating husband. I've got a couple here today that seem to have it together. They both have jobs, they've been together for a while, but something just isn't going right. Let's see if we can figure out what it is. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Corey Umbles and Shanice Umbles. Mr. and Mrs. Umbles, you have been together for seven years, married for the last four, and you have one child together. But you do not want to be get together anymore. You both have claims filed against each other, and I will get to that momentarily. But before I do, Mr. Umbles, let me start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and what brought us here today? Um, so, from the beginning, um, she knew I was a very sexually driven person. Uh-huh. Um, and... Uh, she knew after we had the baby, um, my needs weren't being met, so I began to seek sex outside of the marriage. Now, when did you ha did you have a baby before or after you got married? After. After you got married, you say not enough sex after that happened. Not enough, not at all. Did you guys have a conversation or two about that? Um, yes, we did. When she was seven months pregnant, roundabout, um, I had reached out to an ex, and she was um, in a different state. Um, we had went through counseling um, because of that, and I explained to her. Uh, my, my sex drive is really high. I, I like to have sex very, very often. In the yeah. beginning, it was that way. We were having sex two, three times a day, mm -hmm. every single day. Right. It kind of dwindled down to right. maybe, you know, once a day. Then right. it was like maybe three times a week. I got you. I got you. I got you. So, <laughs> my question was, you have no clue, right? No. <laughs> What's up? I asked you a question that you were supposed to be answering. And you don't even remember that I asked the question. No, no. What's yeah. <laughs> the question was, did you have a conversation about the lack of sex yeah. when you started to have concerns? Yes. Well, actually, yes, we did. Uh, I, con I conveyed to her, hey, when you reject me sexually, it makes me feel some type of way. Um, that's why we went to counseling for that. Uh -huh. Having that discussion about, you know, our sexuality, how often, and different things like that. And what happened as and a it function was, there? It was met with... Anger, attitude, like, well, you know, I just had a baby, you know, or while she was pregnant, it was, you know, I'm moody, I'm this, I'm tired, etc. And I'm like, well, you just can lay there, you know, if that's the case, like, <laughs> let's handle business, like, yeah. because she knows, she knew, like, my sex drive was really, really high. We mm -hmm. discussed it, we had multiple conversations about it. Okay. Uh, Ms. Umbles, is that an accurate reflection of the things that occurred? Um, sorta. Like, we did go to counseling, we had a conversation, but, I felt like I, I had just, I was pregnant. I had a miscarriage right before that. So I wanted to do any and everything that I could to like stay healthy, to make sure that, you know, nothing, nothing was going wrong. So when he told me that, he didn't, it didn't come off as when you don't have sex with me, I'm going to have sex with somebody else. Because if it would have came off like that, then I would have said like, okay, well, I'm not going to lose my man for that. So she'll, she'll I, say that, but we had that discussion as well. Like, about if you don't have sex with me, whether or not you're sick, about, whether or not you had... My, hey, 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 I'm talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you don't have sex with me, whether or not you're sick, whether or not you've just had a miscarriage, whether or not you're currently pregnant, whether or not you're tired, whether or not you're upset, not happy, unfulfilled, if you don't have sex with me, I'm going elsewhere. You had that conversation. Yeah, because we, we discussed me how I lust after other women. She knew from my, my... Oh, I have another son by a different woman. She knew what that situation mm -hmm. was. I was repeatedly cheating on her as well. What if she got sick? What if you were with a woman, she got sick, had, 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 a, had, had shingles, and for a month she couldn't have sex? Would you cheat on her? No, that's different. So when there were, when there were medical concerns, like when she had the miscarriage and different things like that, I was, I'm understanding in that. It's not that you're tired or you, you just can't do it. So that's... My understanding So you're there. understanding about that. It's just when yeah. she's physically when capable just... and unwilling. Right. When it's just an Is excuse. Is that accurate? It's, come on now. Like... Kind of. I mean, I, I had just had a baby. I was working full-time, long hours. So if, if I knew that if I uh -uh. didn't have sex no. with him, no, no, that no. he Stop. would be upset. So I would try to, like, maybe get up. He had to be at work at 6. I would try to get up 5 in the morning, try to, you know, make sure that we have sex then. Or you know, when, when he comes home. But a lot of the times, because he was, do, you know, cheating, when he comes home, it was strictly the video game. We'll talk for a little bit in between, um, you know, in between the video game. We'll talk for a little bit, and then that was it. So... No. What no. did you do to potentially increase the sex you got when you weren't getting enough? What did you do? Um, I, 
Like, as far as with her? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was... It was a... <laughs> It was an ongoing conversation. Like, it was, it was a topic of discussion that we constantly talked about rejecting sex. What are the reasons no, why? No, but what did you do? Oh, anything that she asked. She would say that I, I wasn't doing this or I wasn't doing that, but I always was getting her little gifts. We're going on vacations. Her, let's go to Seattle for the weekend. Let's go to Vegas. Let's go do these type of things to try to keep that romance spark. Yeah, you know, but I would rather not have none of that and day. him be faithful to me than right. go on trips and... and yeah, stuff like the tired that. woman don't want to go on a trip because she's usually in, in charge of all of the doings. So what she wants yeah. is a little romance at home, kindness, take care of the baby, you know, when she's exhausted, that kind of thing. And it I might would. help. I worked two jobs. I would come home and have my son all day long, all the time. Even when he was first was born, I worked overnight and would come home to a baby all day long, working yeah. 10, 12 hours at night. I was trying to help him you, all sister, day. over there. I didn't all day. You got to ask all for day. all of it. I had to go to work as well. So, yes, he would come home from work, and we didn't, right. we didn't have a babysitter at that time. But as soon as he told me, look, I can't do this, I don't want to be with him all day, I, I started looking for a babysitter, and I got him in babysitting. You know, I right, got him got to a babysitter. Care, right. So then when I go to work, I dropped him off, so he had all day to sleep or do whatever he needed to do. I got you. Did that, that happen? That was at the end. Uh -huh. That was, you know, six months after I'd been coming home and... So you cheated? With 27. With yeah. one women, with one woman, with a lot of women. No, with 27 women. With 27 women. <laughs> Lord, have mercy, let's hear about this sin. Okay, but, so, I'm, I'm not a sex addict. I don't want to say that. It's... It's more about it's more about that that first experience with a woman when a woman experiences me for the first time and her reaction. That's more what I'm addicted times. to than. So you're about the conquest. Yeah. During the year, 27 yeah. different women. About a year. So um, Most we were. Time. <laughs> We were, we were, we were getting new phones at the time. Uh-huh. And I was transferring her data from the old phone to the new phone. Right. And I just so happened to come across this text message of her with this guy. You know, so I asked her, you know, hey, what's up with this or whatever? And she brushed, oh, we just was flirting. Was this just before was the 27 yeah, this women was, or during? This was, like, during that period. During the 27 yeah, women. During she that period. She had the nerve. <laughs> Lord, have mercy, let's hear about this sin. Okay, but, so, I'm, I'm not a sex addict. I don't want to say that. It's, it's more about, it's more about that, that first experience with a woman when a woman experiences me for the first time and her reaction. Yeah. That's more what I'm addicted to with... than... So you're about the conquest. Yeah. You're about the conquest. So you found a message in her phone sometime during the course of this 27-woman expedition you were on. Yeah, but... And what happened in the... What, what did the messages say? Um, it was just like, uh, oh, like, I don't want to do this anymore, or, you know, I'm sorry, et cetera. Just, just, it was just a few little messages. It wasn't a, an entire thread. It was a screenshot of a, I don't want to do this anymore, et cetera. So I asked her, you know, hey, what's up with this? Because so, at the time, I hadn't came clean about the cheating. Right. It just was, that was in the middle of it. It was on the down low. Yeah, it was on the, it was on the down She would suspect, but it's cheat till I you get caught. I would ask him every single day, <laughs> what's up with you? What's going on? Like, you come home, you're not the same person. What is going on? And it's nothing. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm working long so hours. So you were cheating and lying. Yeah. yeah. And then you found a screenshot that said, I don't want to do this anymore. You asked her about it. What did she tell you? She told me, oh, we just was flirting, it was harmless, just, you know, something to do while right. she was at work, et right. cetera, et cetera. Just little stuff like that. But I just, I kind of had this weird feeling like mm -hmm. there's more to that story, like, tell me what's going on, tell me what's going okay, on. Okay, so what I did you ultimately find out? Uh, that, <laughs> that, um, that her and the guy had slept together. Okay. Did you sleep with this other guy? <laughs> Y'all are just cold. Y'all just wrong. Y'all gonna applaud that. Yes, Lord I have did. mercy. Ms. Umbles, it started you tell off, me what happened. It started off because I knew something was going on with him, the way he was coming home. It was just, you know, I got nothing. I would ask him, like, do you even like me anymore? Do you even... Do you want to be with me? Like, what is it? I don't feel loved. I don't feel nothing, no, no emotion, no affection, right. no nothing. So then I started, you know, venting to this guy and... One thing led to another. It happened, and so, but I felt like, you know, 
it was more on his side. Like, he pressured it a little more, but, mm. you know, it you, happened. Yeah, it, and, it happened. And so when he asked me about it, I lied, because it, it, he asked me, and it was like, I was... I was gonna tell him, I just needed to figure out how I was gonna tell him. Right. So then when mm -hmm. he put me on the spot, I didn't I didn't know. I didn't so I lied about mm -hmm. it. I did. And I lied for a while. And, and um, you know, he was so when you found out about this guy, did you come clean about the other women? It's different when you're caught. I just oh! she never would have known. I'm serious. <laughs> I mean, I'm just being honest. She if she <laughs> she never would have caught me. It never would have she never would have known. in the midst of her lying about it. Right. I came clean with the woman that I was seeing at the time mm -hmm. and let her know, hey, you know, right. I've been seeing this other woman, gave her the details of that, thinking that that would kind of push her to open up more about it. But she still was lying, still was saying, oh, it wasn't nothing, it was this, it was that. So then I was at work one day and I called her and said, hey, when I get home, I need to talk to you. I don't want to tell you mm -hmm. through the text message or on right. the phone or anything like right. that. I need to come and talk to you. And all day, she's, what is it? What is it? I'm coming to your job. What is it? What is it? What is it? Then when we got home, I let her know, hey, it wasn't just her. It was her and 21 other women. Mm -hmm. At that time, it was 21. But I was angry because when he told me, he didn't tell me that. And he dragged me through it before he told me about the first person. I had to apologize to him daily. There were certain things that he wanted me to tell him Did you daily. do all that? Yeah, I did. Knowing that you had been sleeping around and lying to her for months, you were going to torture her about the one little small sin she committed? Yeah, but like I said, it's, it was... I was trying to pull it out of her. We un oh, I understand and, why. I understand. And I wasn't caught. It was a difference when you're... It's different when you're caught. I just, she never would have known. I'm serious. <laughs> I mean, I'm just being honest. She, if she, <laughs> she never would have caught me. It never would have, she never but would have not known. Only I could have continued that saying, like, I never did anything. She so never would have known. So as long as she it had continued to lie to you successfully, uh -huh. it would have been fine. And you're fine in doing what you're doing because you're cheating and lying successfully. No, and okay. only until you cheat and get caught are you obligated to tell her the truth? No, I don't... But it's, she knew. I knew, and I didn't have any proof because he's very, very, very yeah. sneaky. But she knew. You were caught, you just didn't know it. She didn't have proof. She knew you, you were guilty, she just couldn't prove it in court. Can I tell you something, sir? Yeah. You are just, just incensed by her sin, uh -huh. though it is minuscule in comparison to your waves of wrong that you've committed over a year. I, and I agree, I agree with that. You get that part? I agree with that to a certain extent, but also, it wasn't just peaches and cream. For the majority of the relationship, it was me bowing down. What do you need from me? What do you want from me? What'll change this? And it just was attitude, 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 bickering. At points, I was get, I would get on my knees and be like, just stop it, but he cut also, it out. What's no, 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 Ms. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna ask you. Were you at the brother? I mean, the sex aside, were you were you a good partner, or were you were, were you one of these spouses that was uh, 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 all the time? Not all the time. All the time. Not all the, all time. the time. Sometimes I would get upset, yes, because I'll come home and it's strictly video game, or I get no attention or nothing. So sometimes I do nag him, yes. In the beginning, we were. Fine, like we were good. We got everybody's along. fine in the beginning. <laughs> we we Everybody. got along. Yeah. Every I mean everything was good. So yes, I do nag him sometimes. It's not it, an all day thing. It's no. not nagging. It's attitude. It's pointless attitude. Like and when I'm trying to fix the problem, I'll be like, babe, like how can we fix this? What do I need to do? And it's well, what nothing. What did you Mr. think the Perfect. problem was? Nothing. I don't know. I, I should, you ask still her. don't know. Ask her. What was the problem? The, the problem, problem was you feel felt unattended to. I That's felt unattended to, unloved. I just felt like I, I was. We were roommates only. That's that it. That was later. Yeah. I'm talking about the six years before the last year. That's what I'm talking about. All of that beforehand. The whole just, six years, you, she had under. a bad attitude. <laughs> I, it was, I wasn't it was aware manageable of that. because I'm I, I'm real spiritual, so I felt like. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> but I mean, like the only thing, the, the only thing that was keeping that together was the fact that I couldn't leave you for for you having an attitude all the time. I couldn't leave you for those type of problems, different things like. Do you tell those women that they're one of twenty seven? Do you let them know, or what, how do you how do you get them to have sex so with you? It'll. It'll be like, I'll, you know, I'll be at a gas station, I'll see a beautiful woman pumping the gas or something. And it's, you know, 
I do tattoos, so it's I have a I, I had a, a easy outlet, you know. Hey, you know. Did you question. let him know that you were married and this was just a one-time thing? Yeah. It wasn't one time. I don't believe one time I do. things. They knew he was married. They know it I just wasn't married. one time it thing. It just went to, oh, I see what yeah, you're some saying. Some of them were multiple times. I but. gotcha. I gotcha. 27 went multiple times, huh? Yeah. about the $500 you are seeking from Mrs. Umbles as you leave her here today so, for video game controllers and tattoo equipment. Tell me about that. So during the, during the arguing and different things, you know, control the fly, hit the wall, shatter into a million mm -hmm. pieces, yes. being thrown by her. Yeah. Um, PlayStations, she came home one time, uh, I was about to do a tattoo on this girl. She didn't know I had slept with the girl at I the time. I knew you slept with the girl. <laughs> I knew, he slept, I knew he slept. She I knew he slept. I knew he slept with the girl because I know the type of women that he sleeps he with. I gotcha. And so I'm, I'm, I'm just finna do the tattoo. She comes in the house, tripping. She kicked all my tattoo stuff, equipment all mm -hmm. over the place, destroyed it. You know. You want hundred dollars for him for some sentimental, sentimental jewelry? Yeah. Tell me about that. Uh, my mother gave me a necklace, um, and when he got upset, he snatched it off my neck, and it broke. Did you do that? And it upset me. Oh, my goodness. I, Never hands-on, my man. Never hands-on. That, that was a weak moment for me. Yeah, you have a lot of weak moments. <laughs> <laughs> With sex, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you got a lot of weak moments. Let me say this, just on a general tip. I think controllers and game stations are getting a lot of dudes in trouble. I come in here all the time and a woman has lost her mind because her man has been sucked into a game. Mm -hmm. And, 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 you know, the guys will talk about how they have this need and that need and this need and that want, and then they still have a childlike affection for a toy. Yes. And get so deeply immersed in that toy that they can't take care of the man's business of being with a woman. And when I say when you being with a woman, you're with her emotionally, you're with her physically, you're with her financially, you're with her intellectually. We are some deep people. We are not simple boxes. There are a lot of layers to explore, and you missed a whole entire boat firing at some dude in South Korea who will never fix you a meal, who will never lay next to you in bed, and who will never carry your child. But the woman who does all that gets the leftovers. That's what I gotta say about that. And I agree with that, but... Isn't that something? I got madder about the game than the women. <laughs> But I put the game. I put the game down. That's yeah, been a well, couple yeah. years. And then you picked up the women. You you satisfy yourself, and you satisfy yourself continuously. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered.